Hello, hello, and welcome to Tarot Parlor Podcast. This episode is a requested reading from a scenario from my last short and sweet video. The card was The World Reversed, and the subsequent cards that I pulled for it were two knights, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And there was a competition or a feud between these two individuals. So today I will be using Pagan's Way Tarot. I have pulled the Universe card in this deck to represent the world. I was going to pull the Knight of Swords and lay on one side, which I've done, but I couldn't find the Knight of Wands. I've looked through this deck like five times sitting here. So I'm going to go ahead and start the reading and let's see if he shows up. Otherwise, where is this card? And is this representative of this knight somehow within this within this situation? Is he a no-show? With that said, off we go. So first I pulled three cards for each one of these knights, each one of these individuals within this situation, just to get a, a little look at the dynamics. For the first three cards for the Knight of Wands, I pulled Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Tower reversed, Five of Pentacles. And in this deck, Five of Pentacles is titled Restriction. The Knight of Wands had recently within his life some sort of tower moment, some sort of hellacious, tumultuous change in circumstances. Um, there appears to be something he has worked on or has have been cultivating for a very long time, whether this was um, job or career aspirations, whether this was a relationship, whether it was something totally unique to this night, whatever it was, um, it, it was not successful. And the tower moment has brought this knight to a feeling of restriction, like the walls are closing in around him, like he may not have control of his life, that he, he just may not be able to, to turn things in his direction. He also may have a very defeatist feeling of not being able to accomplish anything because he's failed at this one very important thing that was very important to him. The cards I drew for the Knight of Swords was the Eight of Cups reversed, Princess of Wands reversed, and the King of Wands reversed. And the Eight of Cups in this deck is titled Pathfinder. This is a knight who has uh, turned around and walked away from something in his life. And in doing so, um, Pathfinder makes sense. He's chosen a different direction. He's chosen a new path, a new journey. With that... There's the idea with this Princess of Wands reverse that someone has been very critical or criticizing of him for his decision. There's someone who thinks he should have stayed or someone who thinks he should have tried harder or someone who thinks that for whatever their reasons are, he should not have left or he should not have given up on a situation. Um, the King of Wands reversed tells me also that there was a lot of passion um, in this decision it also tells me that there was a loss of passion for the cause. Um, I'm also hearing that there, there, between the Princess of Wands and this King of Wands, um, I'm also hearing that, that this could have been a very internal struggle also for this Knight of Swords, um, losing passion for something and um, even criticizing himself for like not sticking something out, not working on something, not staying longer, not trying again, whatever it was. So there's a lot of um, self-criticism here. There's um, kind of low self-esteem also uh, that's going on with the dynamics for this night at this moment. So now let me draw six cards for the two nights together and clarify their situation. So the six cards that I've drawn to involve both of these characters were the Hermit, Ten of Pentacles reversed, which is titled Tradition in this deck, the Chariot reversed, Three of Swords, a card of sorrow, Seven of Wands, a challenge, and Strength. So for these two nights together, one quick look at these cards first. The Hermit is someone going a solitary path. Ten of Pentacles is someone breaking with tradition. 
Uh, the chariot also reversed, someone seeking a new path, someone also being a little bit confused about what direction they want to go, or a little bit confused about um, the path they're taking or how things have turned out, or just the fact that something has happened very suddenly. So it also leaves that kind of, of, of feeling and energy. Three of Swords is a third party situation. Seven of Wands, not only is it a challenge, it's about being on the defensive and trying to maintain boundaries and constantly having those boundaries challenged. And strength, of course, is just about having the grit to continue or the grit to make difficult choices and difficult changes in life. Um, whichever direction you're going, whatever you decide to do, it's all about having the strength to go and the courage as well to go ahead and and actually not just think about doing something but actually getting it done and following through now i'm going to look at these cards as a collective obviously what jumps out at me most is the three of swords it's just a very powerful card and through both its meaning and and visually and it just kind of is stems at the root of it here, that there is a three-party situation that somehow disrupted the connection between these two knights. And this scenario can go in many different directions as far as gender and relationships go. This can be um, a knight, two knights um, of the same sex who are involved with each other. This can be two knights who are in competition and feuding with each other over another individual. Um, whichever whichever way it might play out in the universe and for um, anyone hearing this reading and finding a connection with it gender as we know in these days is rather fluid <laughs> we have to keep all of our options open you, know, you just never know what's going to come through the cards but that that is just a tremendous um, gist. This Three of Swords right next to that Seven of Wands, that person trying to very hard to maintain boundaries. And the Three of Swords is just so overwhelming. There's there's just they were unsuccessful at that. Whoever was trying to maintain boundaries and and uh, keep this situation in check, it didn't work. Thankfully, the strength at the end of it all, it gave someone um, someone the ability to have the strength to walk away from something that might have been toxic or might have been irreparable. And definitely someone's going to maintain a very solitary, um, a solitary path for quite some time. Someone was very traumatized by these turn of events. And there's also the idea that of these nights, um, they may choose several different paths, you know, for the next few months or years of their life until they finally actually find the path that's right for them. Which makes me think that they may be a bit younger, maybe 20s or 30s, you know, that they have a lot of time to, to search out which path in life and which journey and which direction they want to go. They have time. With that said, I do believe that's where I'm going to end this reading. Thank you for requesting it. Whatever your scenario is, however you fit into the mix, um, I hope that you have found something here that um, inspires you and gives you uh, a good sense of validation in order to choose the really good paths and make it, um, good decisions for yourself from this point going forward. And you know our Knight of Wands never showed up in this deck. so. Uh, he's a no-show in this reading, and I have to still wonder, is he a no-show in this relationship between this competition, between these two nights? Did he disappear? Let me know. And until the next time, and until the next video, bye-bye.